I'm back. So there have been a lot of times where I've started to film or maybe even completed a video and didn't post it just because, I don't know, I was nervous about having like new colored hair and the comments about that and just a bunch of dumb trivial stuff. But I am so moved right now to actually post. So this is the first time I have been on here in so long. So hi everybody. I did miss you. I love you guys. I took such a hiatus. A lot has happened in my life. I promise to like go backwards before just moving on without talking about it. But for now, I just wanted to get into this because I went to the Bill Nye uh, discussion on climate change and his upcoming movie. So that was in San Francisco. I spent like $17 on a student ticket and also BART and back. It was like $25 to go and I planned my day around this. I was really excited to see what the discussion held and I was hoping of course that they were going to talk about animal agriculture and it really didn't come up at least organically like people in the audience talked about it but I just wanted to share uh, I did get called on but I got so nervous because I could tell that they were trying to take the microphone away uh, as I was talking and I didn't get to say what I wanted to like the most important parts that I was trying to make at the end where, you know, I didn't get to say everything and I got nervous and I said like a few times and I'm mad at myself for not like powering through, I guess, and getting the most important parts out there or just reframing it, knowing that there would be some kind of time restraint. But anyway, this is what I wanted to say. It's 2017. The debate whether climate change is real should be over. My question is this, what are we, conscious, scientific, and rational people, what are we doing to take personal accountability for our role in climate change, primarily diet? Factory farming causes deforestation, water, land, grain, and antibiotic waste, desertification, ocean acidification, with overwhelming evidence saying that animal agriculture is the leading cause of environmental devastation and climate change. What are we doing to address that? I'm in a room full of people and everybody just wants to talk about like climate change is real or it's not real. Like some people don't think it is and it's a big deal and you know, carbon. There's so much more to it. Like we have tangible steps that we can take every day. So Bill, you said you wanted influence, not fame. Well, you have influence. You have a scientific mind and you were even asked about agriculture earlier in this discussion panel and you spent that time talking about GMOs. I think factory farming is never sustainable, even with regulation. It's easy to take in. It's easy to take on ignorance as an obscure, gargantuan challenge. It's much harder to look inward at our own choices and to make changes. We can't force apathetic people to see evidence and use logic and to care, but we can control what we fund and eat three times a day. Eating vegan for one single day will save 600 to 1,000 gallons of water. In California, we should be thinking about this. We should be caring about it. Instead of blaming the almond farmers and the people who are growing weed up north, why aren't we talking about what we're each doing every single day? Put your money where your heart is, really. Like, we talk about being environmentalists. How is it environmental to go out and buy, like, organic, humanely killed meat? There's no such thing. So it really bothered me that the, in this huge discussion, it did not come up and... My final question is, at what point will the scientific community start addressing this? When will veganism and its role to curb climate change go mainstream? What will it take? Because he didn't want to talk about it. Uh, I just talked about this on Facebook, what came up, but he basically glazed over a lot of it. He said crickets were a possibility for people needing protein. Like The protein discussion is long over. Like You're kind of being a troll. I don't think you're meaning to, Bill Nye, but the whole like people need protein there's protein in plants. Like, how do you think a rhino survives or a cow or an elephant? These are herbivore creatures thriving on a vegan diet. I don't understand. Like, some of the strongest land mammals. And, you know, I just, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to say, like, wow, you're a scientist and you don't have a very, like, scientific way of looking at this. Clearly, maybe you haven't researched it, or you just don't want to take on the unpopular stance of animal rights matter. But animal abuse aside, just talking about the environment and our bodies, the World Health Organization has says that like meat causes cancer. It's a class one carcinogen. So at this point, it's not good for us. It's not good for the planet around us. So if we care about climate change and the environment, it's time to look at plant-based diet. So I 
wanted to have like a good three minutes to get into it. I think I was given more like 45 seconds. Um, oh well, hopefully it's planting seeds. At one point during the discussion, Bill said that when someone is confronted with scientific evidence, like to the contrary of something important to them, like for example, if astrology isn't real or people don't have psychic abilities, ghosts aren't real, I think that's what he said, those three things. He said when confronted with new information, it takes people two years to really process and accept it. So what I'm hoping is if that's true, maybe people will keep planting these little seeds of animal agriculture and factory farming is really hurting the environment and hopefully he'll look into it and maybe when two years rolls around you know that could be in three months who knows when it started if it's really two years I'm hoping that that comes up quickly and he can take a strong stance because people like him and Neil deGrasse Tyson and the woman who runs I fucking love science if those people would just like pull their heads out of their butts and get rid of the social conditioning that says we need to eat animals and the stigma around veganism and animal rights, like, the future is vegan. The money shows it. All these new companies popping up with, like, I don't know, getting seeded with millions and billions of dollars. It's just, it's so clear that people care about this, and it is the future. So get on board now. Be on the right side of history. Like, we are dealing with climate change. It is real. It's not up for debate. It's not like Santa Claus. Like, it's it's here. It's around us all the time. Look at the weather. Look at the natural disasters that we're causing. And if you really do care about it, you'll make steps. You will think about having less children, maybe. You will think about how you can play a part in giving people access to free and affordable birth control so that they can choose to have less children if that's what they want. And we will talk about veganism and how it's going to help solve climate change.